Good morning everyone, so I am here today without any expectation, I am just searching for any simple photo, any uh, simple composition, beautiful composition with a lot of beautiful colors, autumn colors, a lot of leaves on the ground, mm, just searching for a photo that makes you feel we are in autumn and that the photo is taken in autumn and so I'm just searching and I will see what I can find. So here is the first photo I was searching eye level and I didn't find anything special so I went down and as you can see now I'm taking the photo 90 degree 90 degree on the ground only for this group of leaves green leaf as you know different colors between the green and the yellow that's very natural uh, color contrast I will take the same photo again but with the Sigma ultra wide angle um, just trying to take also more space from the contrast yellow and green but I think I have to go down more because when I use the Sigma ultra wide angle maybe the legs of the tripod will be on the photo so I have to go down a little bit so as you can see I just opened the legs of the tripod but even though I couldn't uh, make the legs out of the composition as you can see if I zoom out I will make like this if I zoom out you can see my leg here and my leg and the legs of the tripod and that's why I make just a little zoom to make everything out I feel I like these days more where I go out and there's nothing special in my mind. There's no specific lens I want to use or uh, there's nothing like specific composition in my mind. Because when there's specific composition I feel, I feel stressful a little bit because I start searching and I just want to find that specific composition in my mind. But when I don't have anything to worry about, I have two lenses, a 50mm lens the 10 20 millimeter lens uh, everything is possible i search for any beautiful thing i don't want to make any stress today i will try just to make a photo here but there's a lot of distraction but i like how uh, come this tree here with the leaf yellow leaf and this tree with the yellow leaf i will try that actually with my sigma lens because i have to be so close to the to the both trees because as you can see there's here a lot of small small branch and a lot of distraction so I will try to stand here between the trees and take them together as I said there's a lot a lot of distraction there's a lot of things I don't want to show in the composition but I can't remove it because it's heavy branch of trees or something like that and it's not removable so that's why I will try a lot of possibilities. I will try the horizontal and the vertical. Mm, I think the vertical works better. I am I'm really not sure. By the way, if you are interested in macro photography just like me, just go and check the video here, here, <laughs> anyway. Um, I will use uh, today also some, some tips that I said in the video um, to make just photo, small photo of these small mushrooms. So I found another beautiful, maybe another beautiful composition here, but I am standing <laughs> inside the river and 
uh, I have a small problem which is uh, the rock which I want to use here this rock it's is inside the uh, inside the water and that's why I can't uh, put any any leaf any uh, yellow leaf on it and I want to search for another rock I will put it uh, above this rock here just to to be able to you know to put a, a yellow leaf without the river take it away rock like this for example oh, oh the water is so cold maybe like this and put it exactly like that the problem is all the leaves I found has a browny browny color I want I want more yellow color maybe like this maybe this will work I will try to put it in water so to be a little bit heavy not to go away with the wind so this was the photo like this and here is the leaf it was really not easy I have I, I had to make it uh, so fast because of the wind and the, the leaf was a little bit moving and I have to take the photo again and again just to make sure that uh, the leaf is sharp and is not moving and I used also CBL polarizer filter just to remove all the light reflections from the leaf and from the water itself. So thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed and if you want to see other videos in the future please subscribe and see you next week.